so basically it's uh, i think we can see 2 in india and i was working on a 3d printing project for my project basically it's a sub project for my drone so as you can see right now i am using this uh, blue pill uh, it's an stm32 board so what i want to do is i want to make a 3d printed case for this and i was finding a based cad software for linux which i was working right now i will show you so what i was thinking that is there any program open source program like uh, autocad which i uh, can use for 3d printing and case designing for my project so today i all the day i downloaded a software i will reveal that a software and i feel like I have used AutoCAD but I feel like it's a uh, the open source competition for proprietary software is very uh, we can say that it's not close right now but after using this free CAD um, oops so after using this software I feel like yes we can do things on open source also so let's see that and yeah um it's not libricad i uh try libricad but it doesn't feed my need so let's get into it so basically it's a free cad as you can see here i have designed this uh, little case here for my purpose let's move around for gesture and i think i have to so as you can see it's a little case it has four screws in it for screwing up and inside there is an arduino and stm32 so as you can see there are lots of space here and i the main problem in this case is i forgot to hold for a wire it's a simple case it's a simple learning curve for a free kid but we can see that um there there are some complicated projects on autocad that we can implement in freecad also so here you here you have guys another software for linux so i have found this freecad is uh, pretty much user friendly for me you have to just switch from this little tabs uh, basically part part design and mostly i use arch so basically these the three different things are mainly for my purpose and if you want to just you can use space as you can see i have used this road for screws i haven't made any screws right now but for just learning curve i just use this road to cut this down it's easy you can find a little it's easy you can find a lot more tutorials on youtube so let's get into it uh, file and then we can export them and basically 3 printing softwares require an STL format so we just go to go down to here I am just recording with my phone so quality is little bit uh, so here it is STL and as you can see both part I have already exported you have to just press save and to confirm that both are exported i use mesh lab it's famous on um you if you want to just see dot stl or another files for 3d printing just use mesh lab and press ok and as you can see the part is as you can see the part is now rotating and we can see in the mesh lab so mesh lab is particularly to just uh, see uh, files like this and when and then let's see about uh, bottom case and this is my bottom case so what happened that uh, that upper case will down on this uh, bottom case and i will screw them all from four screws and like we have more spaces inside it for sensor and all the stuff so basically that's it thank you for watching 
and if you find any 3d printing services online please let me know in the comment section i need this thank you guys to mention that if you have nvidia enabled uh, graphic card like optimus chip just use this OptiRun for FreeCAD just replace this from FreeCAD and OptiRun and you are good to go to use graphic card on Linux for any software so when I use a, a simple mesh lab like here we can see let's test them let's test it so press ok and as you can see the FPS is like uh, Sixty-two, and it's not more. But let's see after running on. So let's see after typing OptiRun mesh step mesh step, and then press OK, and let's see FPS. So as you can see, the drastic change in FPS. So as you can see the FPS is like whoa. So you can use your own graphic card like I have NVIDIA and and doesn't focus anymore. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.